hey guys welcome to another video so in this video i am going to be covering about how i cleared the aws certified developer associate exam so without wasting any time let's jump straight into the video so the reason why i make this video is i am getting plenty of questions from many people that how i clear this exam so instead of answering everyone separately I why not make a video so that is the thought process behind it and also usually I used to make videos in Tamil so uh, I feel that this particular topic is for uh, everyone so uh, I don't think there is much videos on uh, how to clear this exam so I thought that this is going to be uh, useful if I put it in English so that is the thought process behind it so one thing that I would like to clear before proceeding further is that uh, you don't need to have any uh, hands-on experience or uh, uh, working experience on AWS in order to clear this exam. So AWS, AWS recommends you to have one year experience in order to take this exam but that is not a mandatory thing uh, for you to take this exam. Also, I knew few people who, don't, who did not have any experience working on AWS but still they were able to clear their exam. So the reason for that is they wrote many exams before taking the main exam. So that is the uh, reason uh, they were able to clear this exam. So I will be talking about this later in this video. The point I would like to make here is your target should not be only completing the certification. Your target should be completing all the services that this particular certification offers and make sure that you have a very good understanding of all the services along with some hands-on experiences. So having only the certification is not going to be helpful in any means. So it can buy you a job. But it, it, it is not going to be helpful for you to uh, work, right? So you need to have some understanding if you have if you are going to work in some company. So before talking about my preparation, let us talk about the exam structure first. So the question with the number of questions will be like 65 questions will be asked and most of the questions will be like a multiple choice question or multiple response. So either it will be one answer, one right answer or multiple uh, answers can be right. So that is something that you have to keep in mind and then out of 65 questions you need to answer 47 questions. So that is a uh, fast percentage. It is actually not mentioned in the documentation but as I gone through all the web uh, this is what I, I found. Uh, as after browsing this is what I came to know that at least 47 questions if you answer you can be uh, confident that you can clear this exam. So that is one thing. So the second thing is you need to keep in mind that you will be given only 130 minutes. So if English is not your uh, native language then you can apply for additional 30 minutes. So that, that can be applied during the time of registration. So you can mention that English is not your native language and you can apply for uh, additional 30 minutes. So I will be talking about this timing thing when I speak in detail about the preparation when I do. So let us jump to the next thing. So the third thing that you have to keep in your mind is this test cost exactly $150. So if you don't have a credit card you just have to keep in mind that uh, this test allows you to pay only through a credit card. You cannot pay through a, a debit card. So if you are an Indian like me uh, you should uh, ask someone who has a credit card and you have to pay through their uh, credit card. So during that time when I applied I, I did not have a credit card but now I do. So the next thing is you can take this test from your home as well as uh, test center. So whichever is suitable for you, you can take the test. But keep in mind that when you are, when you take the test from your home, you have to make sure that your internet connection is stable as well as your camera is on throughout the test. So the languages available for this test is English, Japanese, Korean and uh, simplified Chinese. So if you are watching this video you are probably going to choose English but if as I said if you if English is not your native language it's just mention that during the time of registration and you will be awarded uh, extra 30 minutes so as you see in the screen so the questions will be split up into five major domains so first thing will be like a deployment and then security and then followed by development with AWS services refactoring and monitoring and uh, troubleshooting so I will be covering about this topic during my preparation session so let's move to the next thing so the result will be immediately shown after your examination so once you take your test 
uh, let, like within seconds you'll be uh, getting whether you pass or fail and then the exact marks will be sent to sent through a uh, email letter uh, like two or three days uh, later you'll be getting the exact mark if you need additional information about this you can always go to this official AWS page and here you'll be seen so what are all the updated uh, things that they have so as I said like 65 questions going to be asked and all the necessary details will be available here so now let us see how to apply register for this exam so for doing that you can go to this uh, AWS training page and from here you will not be seeing this exact page first you need to log in and then you need to go to this uh, certmetrics.com so here you will be able to apply for the exam so you can click register for exam and uh, whichever date that is suitable for you you can apply so currently there is only one uh, exam that is available there is PSN view previously when I did I think there is something else was there PSI yeah so I remember I used PSN view so it had a center near my home so I just went and I took it so that was a very easy thing to do instead of uh, taking it from the home so the thing about taking it home is uh, the internet connection has to be stable if it uh, disconnects in the middle so we are going to have some uh, hard time so I don't want to have the time during the time which I take the exam so that is why I avoided it so that is the thing about uh, applying for this exam and then let us start with how to prepare for this exam so there are three things that is going to help you to prepare for this exam so the first thing is uh, AWS free tier account so AWS offers us a one year uh, free tier so you can uh, absolutely make sure that you use it in order to understand the basic concepts of every services so uh, as you go through the AWS course whichever you take so there will be some demonstrations for so whatever uh, AWS tutorials that you are seeing so there is uh, there is going to be some tutorials right so you need to practice it using your AWS account that is first thing so the second thing is you need to find appropriate tutorials for all the services that are, that you are going to learn so if you ask me I will just suggest you that take a course from Udemy so I will show you whatever uh, course that I took so if you see here so this is the course which I took so the ultimate AWS certified developer associate 2023 so if you uh, watch this video later years so this course is always going to be updated so the teacher here Stephen uh, did a very good job so he will make sure that you understood uh, the basics of all the services but this is alone is not going to help you clear the exam so that is the uh, third thing that I am going to speak so the third thing is the main thing that you have to follow so even if you skip the about to steps that is going to be fine but if clearing this exam is the only thing only goal that you have then this particular step is absolutely necessary so the the main thing is you need to uh, have a appropriate questions in order to practice uh, for the exam so I used a website called as Skillset Pro if you see this website here so this is the website so you can buy a, a exam models here so I purchase this and th this is the main reason why I clear this exam now let me go ahead and share with you what are all the services that I begin with so initially I was not I wasn't sure like before buy buying the Udemy course I started with Elastic Beanstalk services I don't know why I started with that but but this is what I did so I just started with Elastic Beanstalk and then uh, Cognito user pools and then CICD so this are all not this is important but it is not the main uh, uh, services that we need to concentrate for uh, developer associate exam so once I buy the this course by the CF by CFN I was uh, able to you know spend time on appropriate services so first I begin with the uh, IAM users IAM services and then followed by all the services which I have mentioned so I'll be showing this, showing you this in this particular uh, blog which I had so you can see the whatever that I show you it will be available in this blog so if you need this sheet which I have you can always message me in Instagram or somewhere that you find me so I can share you this sheet so for now I will be 
giving this particular uh, blog link in my description you can all uh, you can uh, take a look at look at it so this is the first thing that I did so I just completed all the services that uh, Stephen mentioned his video and one along with it there is one more thing that also, uh, also that I did so you can find here uh, the husband so the reason why I spent this is I uh, logged this is I want to make sure that uh, even in future if I do any other course I need to know like how many hours I spent and and that will be helpful for me to to make sure that how much time that will be needed for me to complete this exam so as I said the Udemy course is not a mandatory thing here so you can always make sure that you cover all the services you practice using your uh, AWS free tier account and once you do that once you make sure that you cover all the services that I mentioned uh, you should be good to go so now let's come to the practice exams which I took so you can see that the first exam that I took is on the Udemy itself so that course itself has one practice exam and and you can see that I took only 37 marks so that is not uh, the pass mark that is required so what I did is I need to make sure that I I, can, uh, I continuously score about the 75 percentage so that is what uh, I kept in my mind so once I continuously get like a above 75 percentage or 80 percentage uh, that is when I should start thinking about taking this exam if I if I feel that I am not conf confident enough I am not going to be taking this exam so that is the uh, thought process which I had and that is the thought process I would recommend you to have all as well so once I took the first test uh, I I came to know that this is not an easy thing and the one thing that I did not uh, have a field here is like how much time I took for uh, completing, completing this test so initially when I took this test it was uh, to be honest it was very hard to read the whole question and then answer so as I write more and more exam the the main thing is the difference that it makes is you'll be able to spot the patterns which every question have so once you are able to uh, find the patterns so the questions are going to be simple for you so you need you don't need to spend time on understanding the questions you need to spend time in thinking about the answer so that is the main uh, difference here so as you keep on taking more and more questions you'll be able to recognize the pattern and you'll be thinking only about what the answer could be and not on the to, uh, question that is going that is there is been asked so as you see in the final exam I took 61 marks out of uh, 65 so the main, the main reason is as I said so all these practice exam helped me to, to, to take that mark so let me show you the certificate so this is how the certificate would look, would look like so once you clear the certi certification you'll be given this through an email and you can al also download it from the AWS training website so I think that this video is, should be helpful for you so just let me know if you have any questions so I, I'm sure that I would have missed any important points so please don't hesitate if you have any and you can also reach me out on Instagram so I'll always be available on that platform so until then I'll catch you on another video bye